right, we're getting ready to do the casings of the new Frankfurt Arsenal rotary tumbler. Take the top off. The bottom's already tight. I'm going to add about 1,300 dirty casings. pounds of the needles, supposedly stainless steel, but you can pick them up with a magnet. Uh, next, I'm going to add the packet of cleaning solution from Frankfurt Arsenal. I've got a bottle of it, but this equates to four capfuls. what I just spilled on the side of it. So since I spilled a little, just a casing, uh, keep an eye on this, I'll grab this. I can put a little more, there's a lot of casings in there. Here's the actual stuff when you uh, buy it. I bought it all on Amazon. Let's give it a little shot. Some people use Dawn. I figured I'd try this since that's what the, someone took the time to write the direction, so I figured I'd follow them the first time. I'm putting in one teaspoon of lemon shine. And now I'm going to fill it up. I'm going to get some hot water to about here with water. The whole thing's not supposed to weigh over 30 pounds. I found a guy's chart online that showed the maximum you can put in in each caliber. A 9 millimeter, the max was 1300. So. That's what I'm going to do. We're almost up there. Probably should have added the soap and stuff after I put the water in, but I don't have that much foam. See how high I filled it. So here's the top with the seal. Make sure it's tight. Don't worry about the mess. Your girlfriend or wife is here to clean that up when you're done. If not, you need to get a different girlfriend or wife. Get the towel. Get that green towel. I'm leaking a little bit out of that end. I'm gonna do this outside in case it leaks. I'd rather have the mess outside. I'm gonna dry all this off. It's 
tight. Check it. Roll it back and forth. Make sure I'm not leaking. Now it looks good. I'm going to take it outside and put it on the tumbler. And when I get out there, I'll show you that. Okay, it's on the tumbler. You could go, some guys go two and a half since I went 1,300 rounds. I'm going to go to three hours. Not real noisy. Uh, a tumble like that, there's windows in the end. I'll let you see. Uh, you can see the steel in the end. So in three hours, I'll be back and we'll see what the water looks like and what the casings look like when I sift everything out. See you then. Uh, a little more than that. I'm gonna dump these out. I'm gonna go into this strainer to begin with. Like it's dirty. I dump some of the water out. See how dirty that is. But I can already see those casings. You're gonna like this. I'm gonna put this in. There's one of these for each end. I'm going to use one on the other one when I rinse. They say the big thing is to make sure you rinse them real good or you might get stains or marks. But Their Frank Frankfurt Arsenal magnet. Try to recover as many as I can, I guess. Now you can rinse through that, or I'm gonna put some in here, tumble them to get more of the meaty out. When 
I first dump some out, you can get an idea how the casings came out. Now, if you ever dry tumble them, they come out pretty good. But do they look like that? There's the casings. Inside, out, the primer pockets are clean. These all have been deprimed also. Doing this to separate the pins. up you can take a look in the bottom there there's also a strainer on the inside of there which that's how I'm recovering my pin here's the case what do you think Pretty nice. Inside, spotless. Inside, out. Primer pockets are clean. Nothing. Does a good job. Uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go get something to put these in, and finish getting the pins out of these, dry them, and then I'll get back with you. All right. Now I've got the uh, casings in the uh, all separated. What pins? Stainless pins. So-called stainless pins. I could get. Now I'm going to rinse this out. I'm going to take the bottom off here. There's a strainer. This is the Frankfurt Arsenal uh, media separator. I'm going to... And there's a strainer in the bottom of that. Got my hose here. I guess you could do it in the kitchen sink, but this is easier. Lined with a rubber, it's got an octagon shape that helps tumble. They're all out of there. That's all clean. You can see the uh, the pins that were left inside of there. strainer in there in the bottom dump the water out and I'll use my handy dandy Frankfurt Arsenal magnet I'm gonna have to lay these out on something and on a big cookie sheet and dry them out good they say if you get a little rust on them and there's got to be a little ferrous material in them or the magnet obviously wouldn't pick them up uh, you can put them in with a cleaner and tumble them and it'll clean them right up so there's my casings my media separator you saw the tumbler uh, we're gonna go in and start drying the case I'm gonna do them in the oven I'm gonna heat it to 175 put them on a cookie sheet for a few minutes and dries them right up I'm probably gonna do the same with the pens uh, we'll get back to you when all of it's done. Okay, I'm back. It's Sunday. Uh, yesterday, uh, as I said in the previous little segment there, I was going to do them in the oven. I did. Uh, the problem I ran into was I didn't rinse them good enough. I took them right from the separator into this bin and not thinking because they look so good, I put them on that, those cookie sheets. They dried. When they came out, over time, they got like a greenish tint to them or uh, they just didn't look right so realizing I didn't rinse them well enough I threw them back in the tumbler today for about 45 minutes to an hour I strained them 
I put them in with cold water, mixed them up, drained it through a strainer. I did that about five times. Then I dug out my Oster four layer uh, dehydrator. These aren't very expensive. Uh, these are all done. These did not look like this after a while of coming out of the oven yesterday. I don't think it was the heat. They just weren't, they weren't rinsed well enough and it left some residue which turned color uh, when they dried and cooled. This got up to around 140 degrees with a probe I stuck in there to see. It can't get too hot, it's plastic. But there's 1,300 casings in there. That's the way to go. Uh, if you have any questions on what I did or what I might have run into, if you have a problem, uh, send me a message. I'd be glad to help. That's it.